So hello my dear brothers and boys, what if I tell you that today we will play as the United States of America, but in Panama. Seriously, that's gonna be United States of America in Panama, with the legitimate government of the United States, right here. So through the occupation and integration of the Panama Canal, which is now under control of the US government, we will make a new United States. So, through integration of the Panama Canal Zone, we will become a new United States. And with that being said, boys, let's start our campaign, and as always, enjoy! Seguro que sí. Sí puedo. Status of Panama. Let us hope recovery continues after 1931. Oh, and yeah. Panama is one of the countries in Kaiseridic's universe that doesn't even have 1 million people living in it. Oh, come on, even Estonia has 1.1 million people living in it. Even Mongolians have 2 million people living in this such a unique state. But not Panama, with our tropical climate, with our tropical life, with our, you know, gangster's paradise. But we all know that US government will make Panama great again. At least we trust in the United States of America and GUT. General elections of 1936. You can pick whatever you want because it won't affect our campaign at all. Uh, what about me? I prefer to stay with the authoritarian democracy. Bro, ain't no way. So the horrors of the socialism have even reached the Catholic Church. Pope John XXIII, the Socialist Pope. Hell yeah! Pressure the Costa Ricans. It will take us only 20 political power, but just look on those effects. We need to do it. As the real gangsters, we need to pressure everyone. Even the United States. Mm, you should retreat. I don't like it, but we have to click it. So who should we ask to invest? Obviously, it's gonna be the United States of America. And they accepted to invest in us. Excellent. Increase banana export. Oh, yeah, baby. I've seen some bananas in our grocery stores from the Panama. So, we need to export bananas right to Ukraine. But most of them I've seen from Ecuador, Colombia, and some more South American countries. A few days ago, Second American Civil War has officially started, and after that we have received event Canal in Crisis. Since the outbreak of the Second American Civil War, the Panama Canal Zone has been weak and unguarded. We could size it to protect trade along the canal and to appease the public, whose opinion is largely against the existence of the Canal Zone. So, let's size this stupid canal. Panama Canal Zone Authority Protests Occupation and we will let them stay. The Canal Garrison will move closer to control over the nation. That's what we need. And yeah. So now the Panama Canal officially belongs to us and now we are united. Zone Garrison on the move. Reports have flooded into the government as urgent reports come in as we receive word that the American Garrison in the Canal Zone are marching on our capital. Any attempts to reach the garrison's commanders have failed, and now many government ministers are suggesting we order the police and few military units in the area to engage them, as this is technically an invasion of our capital. They do have their duty. Battle for the capital, and the capital has fallen to the garrison. So, as the result, Zone Authority declares the Panama Zone instead of the Panama government. An interesting shame. So, we have changed our color, our capital, and now we are the Panama Zone. And with that being done, we have also opened our new focus tree line. The most important focus tree line, I can even say. The next and the most important question is gonna be the question of loyalty. We can be loyal to the United States, I mean the stars and stripes, or we can be loyal to Entente and become some type of the Dominion of Central America. But who needs to be a Dominion of an Empire? That's boring. 
that's a real one downgrade for us because we were in dependent state before that and after that we will be a dominion hell no man we will be loyal to the stars and stripes in conclusion we can say that the real one united states have left only in panama everything that has left here it's not the real one america it's something else maybe it's a merma but it's not the united states at first we started to attracting civil war refugees to our state and we will replace it with the americanization of panama hmm in liberia are facing similar refugee situation and are actually welcoming it's a chance to americanize their country we should do the same here in panama with our small amount of native population that sounds like a real goal and a real sin yeah if we were a brazil it would be really hard to americanize brazil but americanization of panama which has the population of 600,000 people it isn't hard at all just attract 0.5 million people to the panama and boom that's gonna be the real one new united states so the substitution of the local population looks like this we are a great example of it a home away from home that's about us and our state we care for american populace so let's ensure they truly live in an american standard the suburbs will be lined with houses and white picket fences Cuba denounces our regime? Fuck you, Cuba! To hell with them! Cuba needs to be destroyed with an atomic bomb, right here, right now. To lead a zone with an estate. And here we got four options. And I prefer the fourth option. Mr. President, welcome to Panama. So, you've got here four decisions, as I told before. And you can choose whatever you want, but if you want to bring the president back to the Panama, you need to choose this option as I did. So invite the legitimate president. It's only the natural that if we are to be America away from America, we should have the legitimate president here with us. So the legitimate president. Okay, we've got five options. The working man Paul Allsmith. Um, Herbert Hoover, Hugh Long, William Murray, and we've got also other options. Let's see them. William Haywood can also become our leader as authoritarian democrat. Okay, Al Capone can become our president. Alf Landon, John Snins Garner. Um, even we've got even more candidates. Let's see them. All right, it's just step back. So, hmm. I prefer the William Murray. So that's our new flag and now we are the United States in Panama. Restoring the Union. The president has ordered that a semblance to old America be ensured. And what better way to do that than to create 48 states. The Union shall live on. And the next step is going to be expansion on the Central American states which is gonna be really cool because we've got five divisions with a great division design so we can easily conquer all of those central american states maybe even the united mexican states from that moment the based man who smokes cigars top g is ruling united states in panama meanwhile in the constitutional american republic we've got the rule of the kkk that's not good um, by the way, let's destroy, what is it, Costa Rica, yes, let's destroy Costa Rica. They've got no forces, so that's gonna be easy. No one died in this war, and Costa Rica was successfully captured. My next enemy is gonna be Nicaragua and Honduras. Um, let's destroy them. Honduras and Nicaragua have capitulated, let's divide their lands. Now we need to fight against Guatemala and El Salvador. Thanks to my great warm tactic, we did it boys, I've just captured, you can see, by one strip a lot of their cities, cause I found a hole and my other divisions were defending some positions to at least give some supply to this division, which truly made it. Whew. Now that all belongs to us. Oh yeah baby, so after conquering all of the Central American states, we received even God bless the United States of Central America. Now it's not even Panama. 
The Land of Opportunity lives on. Hmm, that looks way better. A new color and a new name. United States of Central America. And a new flag, I guess that was 9 stars and a few stripes. That looks cute. So technically my next step is going to be conquer the United Mexican States. Ok, let's conquer at least them. And for doing that we need to create a great army. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, bridging the Darien Gap. So we can declare war on Colombia. Hmm, now we've got enough divisions to take over them, so I guess that is gonna be a great option and a great decision to destroy Colombia. A good war will solve this nice and quick to arms. Colombia? Hmm, never heard of it. Maybe you mean Colombia pictures? Cause I know only that. Oh, and what is that? That's the positions of the Central American United States? So, the second world crack has officially started, the Kingdom of France declared war the German Empire, and we were stuck to the Germans, the last bastion that fights against the horrors of the socialism. And now we've got enough world tension to justify the war goal against the Mexicans. Oh shit, I need a little bit more of the political power. Just give me a sec. Step by step we are reclaiming our rightful American land. USA, United States of Africa. USA, United States of Alaska. USA, United States of Amur River. USA, United States of Angola. And finally, USA, United States of Amerima. Minus 8 divisions of Mexican forces. Well, Germany is fucked. Totally fucked. This throne of Mexico is going pretty successful, but was a huge pain in my ass. Cause, you know, mountains and, and just the whole situation is horrible, so that's a tough war. The toughest in our today's campaign. And don't forget that I've got no air forces. After three years of struggle, you can see that I wanted to take even more serious, but at that moment Mexico has capitulated. So that all is mine now. If we take a look on my focus through line and on my manpower, you can see that it is my maximum. We can't expand even further. And obviously after creating the United States of the Central America, there is no focuses left. But to be honest, that was insane. That was perfect. And you should put like for this based cigar.